Nadine Wilson is joining me today from Synergy Credit Union, and Nadine is an account manager at the Lashburn branch. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Making the trip in, and uh, we're going to be today talking about the cost of raising children. Now, this is something obviously that you know would be different uh, depending on your size of family. But let's start out by talking uh, when you first find out you're expecting a child. Where do you where do you start? Where do you start planning? So when you first find out you're expecting, you really need to prepare for your maternity leave. Um, by the time your baby is 18, you're going to spend close to a quarter million dollars on your little bundle of joy. So <laughs> best bet is to create a budget for your baby's arrival. Um, if you're a first time parent, or it's been several years since you've had your last child, mm -hmm. you may be clueless about the expense that comes <laughs> along with that for the first year. So be sure of your budget and make sure it accounts for the time that you need to take off for work after your baby's born or if a parent's going to stay home with the baby. Uh, you may look to quash your debt and build an emergency fund. Uh, work toward eliminating your credit card debt and maybe your loan debt as soon as you can okay. and plan to have a child. And maybe look at saving three to six months of an emergency fund um, to get you through any unexpected expenses that you may have. Right. Um, you'll also need to acquire your baby gear, so <laughs> you might not need everything that everybody is recommending. So right. maybe ask a friend or another parent of a, maybe a two-year-old of what they used and what they didn't use. Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to be marketed to as never before <laughs> for all the stuff that you have. So know what's necessary and what's not. Um, register for gifts um, through retailers or on websites. And avoid getting maybe repeat gifts that you maybe have to take right. the time to return. Okay, and now once the baby arrives, obviously that's a very busy time, especially for first time parents. What should you be thinking about at that point? So at that point, you're gonna need to be thinking of maybe childcare if you're planning on returning back to work. So the sooner you start evaluating your daycare options, the sooner, the better chance you have of getting into the better facilities. Many of them have waiting lists mm -hmm. and maybe explore the options of government subsidies as well. Um, remember to, that you need to start saving for your little one's child education. <laughs> um, time plus compounding interest work in your favor and help you save for that education. Also keep in mind your savings plans for yourselves um, and talk to maybe talk to your financial planner about those. Okay, uh, what are some of the challenges that you see families facing? Um, typically challenges that you see is the cost of right. raising your children. So rising costs are imminent, like they're happening. So you also want to make sure that you're, when you're purchasing a home or buying a vehicle, you have room in your budget to keep up with your lifestyle that you want to provide for your family. Mm -hmm. If you feel you're not able to keep up with the new expenses, maybe you may want to consider doing a budget, maybe talking to a uh, loans person about consolidation of the debt or maybe a consolidation of your mortgage to help you out. Okay, and, and are there some easy ways to save? Because obviously when you have a family, there's so many things you're thinking about. Yes, <laughs> there is. So we've had other people discuss these tips with you before. Yep. Um, so organizing your grocery shopping. Um, take a more organized approach. Think of the money that you can save. Have a list of the items that you need to buy. Maybe take some coupons along with you. Um, and prepare your maximum budget um, for that specific trip and that can help you from overspending. Right. Um, never buy your items off the shelf. Um, anytime you plan to buy something, especially fairly costly, do your research. Um, maybe check the websites and see where the lowest price is that you can find. Maybe check with retailers and um, manufacturers to see if there's any coupons available. And sometimes maybe it's best if you just look to purchase that item at a second hand. Right. Another option would be to sell items that you no longer need. Right. Um, instead of throwing them away that you no longer use, maybe try selling them first for some additional money. Mm -hmm. You can have a garage sale. You can look to sell them on Kijiji or Facebook. Um, by doing that, you can actually raise yourself some extra money throughout the year. Okay. Well, we thank you so much for joining us and we'll be back again to continue our discussion next hour.